This is our first page of the project. Here you can see the various products. User can click on any product and see its detail. To see all categories of product user can click on products link at above. After clicking on a link, the user will see various categories being fetched from the database. After clicking on category user will see its subcategory. After clicking on subcategory user will see its products. And after clicking on product user will see its details. User will have to choose the size of the product to see its available stock. Here stock is showing according to the different sizes of the product. Stock is managed individually for every size of the product. Before adding product to the cart user will have to log in into the site. Let's first create an account on the site. Fill the various details on sign up page to create an account. After the successful sign up, you will get the success message. Now let's log in into the website. Fill the username and password which we just created. After login, we can now shop on the website and also we can comment on the various products. After adding the product to the cart you will see a shopping cart. We will click on continue shopping to add more products into the cart. Here again, we can choose a product from any category. After clicking it will show its subcategory and then its product. After adding product to the cart you will again see shopping cart. We also get a shopping cart summary like grand total etc. We can also delete the product from the cart, if we added that product by mistake or it is no longer required. When we will click on the checkout button it asks us to fill shipping address. Also, we can choose two payment modes that are cash on delivery and through credit or debit card. If we will choose a card option we will see its fields to fill details. After clicking on the make payment button we will see order number along with shipping address. We can also see order history after placing the orders. When we will click on the order number it will show the products which we ordered in that particular order. User can also change our password by fill the required details. User can also send a message through contact us section to the admin of the site. Just fill the various details to send the message. User can also search the various products by entering a product name. Website will show the matching products based on the search query. After search user can also view the details of the products. We can also post comments and view previous comments about the product. We have to be logged into the website to post a new comment about the product. After posting it will show immediately along with other comments about the product. Comments are individual for every product. Like in this product we do not see any previous comments. Now let us see the admin panel of the website. Log in using the admin username and password. After logging into the website you will see the admin panel in which there are many options to manage the website. This page is for adding a new category of product on the website. We will have to fill the name of the category. We can also upload the picture that will represent that category. 
If we will not upload a picture while adding the category, then it will apply a default image to that category automatically. If you are liking this video and project, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Here we can add subcategory of the products. First, we will have to select a category under which we want to add that subcategory. Here you can see the categories which we added in the previous page. All these categories are being fetched from the database. Click the add button and your subcategory will be added. To add a new brand just give the brand name and click the add button to add a new brand on the website. Here we can add a new product to our website. For adding a product choose the category for the product. We will see subcategories according to the selected category from the database through Ajax. Fill all the other information regarding the product and upload its image and click add button. Here we can add a new size to our products. Just give its name and click the add button to add a new size for the product. This size will be available for all the products. Here we will add size and the initial stock of the product. First, we will have to choose category and then subcategory. According to the selected subcategory, we will see its products. Then we will have to choose size from the available list of all sizes. After this, we will give its initial stock. After this just click the add button. The size which we are adding here will show to the user while seeing the product details. Here admin can see all the orders placed by the different users. Admin can view the products ordered in that particular order by clicking on its order number and can also change the status of the order. Click on the update button and choose the new status of the order. Here admin can see the messages sent by the different users from contact us page. Admin can delete the messages also. We can see the message which we sent from the contact us page from the user side. Here you can remove size from the particular product if you accidentally added that in product or that size is no longer available with you. Here we are adding some sizes in a product with different stock values. We will see more about this later in the user side. If you are liking this video and project, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. All the admin functions are also available in the menu above. Here we can update and delete any category. For updating just click on update button. You will see its current name and current image. You can make any of the required changes and click on the update button. We can also delete the category by clicking on the delete button. It will ask for confirmation before deleting it. 
If you will delete OK button it will be deleted permanently. Here we can update and delete the subcategory. For updating subcategory first choose the category so that we can see subcategories under that category. Click on the update button to change the current values. Like here we are changing the name and image of the subcategory. After making the changes just click the update button and your changes will be saved. In the same manner, we can update and delete the brand. Here we can see the list of the registered users on our website. Here you can see that the product we just added from admin panel is available to users automatically. You can also see our newly added category, subcategory and product are now shown to users automatically. As mentioned earlier also that this project is fully dynamic in nature and is connected to the database. Here you can see all the details which were filled while adding the product. Here you will see only those sizes of the product which we added in the admin panel. Also, we can notice that stock is also changing according to the size. If any size is having zero stock then it will show out of stock message and add to cart button will disappear. Now let's add stock for this size in this product. We are again logging into the site as admin. Click on the link to add the stock into an existing size of the product. Just choose the product and fill its new stock value and click add stock button. Let's see now after adding stock, the user will be able to buy that size. You can also notice that without logging into the website user cannot comment on any product. We are now again logging into the website as a user. It is the same account through which we placed the order. We can see that now it is showing a new order status. You can buy this whole project with its full source code and database from www.projectsforeveryone.com. Also please like and share the video. Also subscribe to our channel.